Hello guys, um, I want to talk about New Tetris today as you see in the title um, the specific name, common name, max size, pH range, DH range, temperature range is at the descriptions down below um, I just want to talk about their hardiness, how easy to keep them and what they eat so I want to talk about what they eat first they eat more about brine shrimps, bloodworms, um, they like small creatures, um, live or frozen, they like it both. Um, now for their hardiness, um, they are not that really hardy fish. Um, they're pretty weak if they're really small. Um, that's why I did the drop acclimation with mine. So yeah, um, it, how easy do you keep them? Um, if you get the bigger ones, they're much easier to keep. If the small ones, they're easy to die. So, so I recommend getting big ones instead of small ones. But the shop I went only had small ones, so I just got about ten of them. Um, they are not good cycling. Um, cycle fish to use when you're cycling your tank they are really weak actually if you're going to cycle your tank I would recommend Domino's Domino's I don't know how to pronounce that name but it's a cold water fish that has stripes blue stripes with really long fins that's pretty great um acclimation fish to use when you're acclimating tank um neon tetras are really fun to watch if they're you know just calm down and don't you know um some people like them to school and um, some people like them to just you know just cool down and just they're just going to be everywhere in your tank um, I do te I tend to like them better when they're everywhere because um, it's much interesting when it's that way. Other people's like when there's only like them when they're schooling. And yeah, they are really fun to watch. Um, you can keep them with angelfish, but you take the risk. Angelfish can hurt them about a lot. Um, yeah, that's I. That's just what I want to talk about. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the vid. Bye.